Now it's time for part 8 of the build. Finally, the last part. I'm going to take this axle pin. Put it in there. Actually, I'm going to turn it first. Okay, that's apparently the farthest it will go. So yeah, just kind of bring it in. Uh, sorry guys, this is very annoying. I'll get back to you. Round two. See if that doesn't happen again. Man. If I had a little bit more room, I could just get this in. Oh, it's just a pain in the butt. Right, see if I can steer it. There we go. Finally. Then I'm going to give... Okay guys, I'm gonna get a Teflon washer. Just slide that in there. It'll go in there. Sorry guys, if I'm being a little slow, it's just little annoying things. I'll bring this to the side so the bar won't fall off. Bring this bar in. Make sure it's even on each side. And then get your the thick, wide hex up the way it's meant for a front. Match it with that slot. And then put it in. Just kind of slide it in. Then try to snap it back in. Which is really hard with one hand. Okay, you got that in, which is the same thing on the other side. Okay, once that's in, now this time go with the rear. You have to unscrew this screw so this rear axle carrier can move around so we can install this so you grab your axle you put it in and then you move it on over and then you put this in make sure it's lined up properly sometimes it's really hard and that screw just fall off okay so it's really hard this way so i'll get back for doing that okay now you got that in just get your screw it goes through the camera links along with this washer that goes in here and then screw it in here. On well, one quick note, you have to put a Teflon washer in first before you put this into the axle carrier. Alright guys, now you got that on both sides. I got that on both sides. Now just get your Teflon washer, put it right there. Get this little bar, put in that hole. Uh, I hate these little bars. Okay, there we go. Just make sure it's even on each side. Then you get your smaller in length. Like, well, and wider, I should say. Smaller wideness. Find that slime. And then line it up. And then push it in. Put on the skid plate, which is how it was two screws right there. Okay, now finally, tires. Here's the front. See that opposite? And here's the rear. Okay, which is held in with a four millimeter nut. And there you go, the tires are on, and the build series is finally done. Only thing I'm missing is a body. And I did have an issue where the tow links, and I still have a little bit of tow in, no tow out, I should say, but that's really not a problem. I mean, a little bit, it doesn't matter, but it was so bad, it was like that much. It was that much, but I basically fixed it, and now it's ready to run. So I have to thank uh, Jesus Pinedo. And best for not least, uh, Chevy brother. And also, if that donation does come, then I'll say thank you to that person who sent the donation. I ain't gonna tell you who it is yet, because if I say his name, then it'll be like, why isn't it in? Why isn't it in? So I kind of don't want that. Once it comes in, then I'll tell you the name who it is. But thank you so much for those three people. And that's it for this build.